for exercise 7-2, we're going to be enhancing the future value calculator that we worked with in previous exercises. Right now we're having people type in the numbers into text boxes, and for this exercise we're going to change these to select menus. So the first step is to just bring it up and see what we have. So that's what this page is. We've got some default values in here, 10,055. When we click Calculate, we, our calculator is working. Uh, we get the right future value calculation, and it displays the results correctly. So that's steps one and two. For step three, uh, we open the index.php file and review the code, and note the names for the input boxes. OK, so we've got our input, type equals text. We've got investment, interest rate, and years. That should be familiar from the previous exercises. OK, we want to modify the code so it uses drop-down lists instead of text boxes for the first two entries. So instead of using input type equals text, we're going to be using select boxes. Select. Remember, for selects, the name goes on the select instead of the actual values. So select name equals investment. OK, and I'll close our select. And then we need to put in our options. This is step five. For the investment amount, the drop-down list should display values from 10,000 to 50,000, incremented by 5,000. To do this, you can use a for loop that creates the HTML. OK, so we need to use a PHP for loop. For, we're going to say um, i equals 10,000, 10,000, i less than or equal to 50,000, i plus equals 5,000. I'm going to use the alternate syntax for PHP loops. And for. OK, so our for loop, we start at 10,000. Each time we go through the loop, we increment by 5,000. And we stop when we get at 50,000. OK, so what do we need to print out here? I'm going to print out the options. Option value equals. And then inside here will be the amount. Close option. OK, so that's the basic format for it. Now we just need to have it actually print out the options. So with PHP, I'll echo out i for the value. And for the displayed value, I'm going to do a PHP echo number format dollar sign i. OK, so the value that we actually send to the server is going to be the number without commas. What we display to the user in the select menu is the number with commas. I think that's a little more user friendly. OK, I'm going to leave the BR new line after the select, and then we'll get rid of this input. OK, let's see what that looks like. Reload this page. So now I've got my select menu incrementing by 5,000. It shows the commas on the user side. If we view the page source, the value it's actually going to submit does not have commas. So that should work great for our investment. And that's great for step five. Let's do the same thing for step six. But they use a different uh, start and end and increment for the interest rate. So I'm going to copy this section and modify it for our use down here. So now we're working with interest rate. Interest rate should go from 4 to 12. From 4 to 12 and increment by 0.5. OK. I'm going to echo the number format. In this case, I'm going to give it two decimal places. So it'll be 4.0, 4.50, 5, and so on. And that should be all that we need. It uses the same for each, uses a select as well, and that should look good for us. Oh, I forgot to take out the old one. Take out the old input. OK. 
There we go, that looks better. So now we've got 4.0, 4.5, all the way to 12. And let's make sure our calculations still work. All right, calculate that. Looks like 20,000 at 5%. Let's try 7.5, let's see. Yes, it looks like our calculations are still good. So that was step seven, was testing the application. So now it all looks good. And that's it for exercise 7-2.